Welcome to episode 100 of the Epilogue Lady podcast. My name is Bente and I'm coming to you from Vesterålen, northern Norway, where I live with my husband and three cats. You can find me on Instagram as Arctic Crafts, on Facebook and Etsy as Arctic Crafts by Bente, and on Ravelry as Arctic Crafts 65. There is also a group for this podcast on Ravelry where you can participate in make-alongs and the occasional giveaway. There is also a Ko-fi page for me and the podcast. And I have a cat that's going crazy in the background. Uh, I got distracted, so I'm not sure, but I think I got everything in that I wanted to. And yes, as you can say, see, there's an exclamation point after the 100 on the sign behind me, because this is crazy. I'm at episode 100, and as promised, there will be a giveaway in this episode, and I'll get back to that at the end of the episode. I haven't got any show notes today because because I couldn't find my notebook. The apartment is kind of chaotic because my, uh, as you know, my son moved back in and stuff is all over the place. So hopefully I can find my notebook before my next episode. But I don't have a lot of knitting anyway today. So hopefully I... I can remember both the designers and the yarn and everything, because, as I said, I don't have any notes. Uh, I'm wearing my Rocket Tee by uh, Tani Silavali, and the yarn is uh, uh, Mountain Stream, Arctic Crafts, in Suri Silk Alpaca and 100% Merino. Uh, I'm not sure about the... Uh, what the picture looks like and everything, because this is my first podcast that I'm recording on my new camera. It's much easier to set up, because it's just a tripod with a camera on top. But... I can fix a lot of this in edit. Um, we can start by... Uh, the winners for the Tea Time make-along, or the Tea Time mouth has been drawn and they have get gotten back to me and I haven't uh, uh, mailed the prices yet because shipping, international shipping is expensive and I want to coordinate a bit so I send it, want to send it with orders and I have one order that's going out in the middle of June so I want to ship everything at once. I hope you can forgive me. I don't do this with orders, but with prices, I feel it's not the same rush to get it out the door. And the two, and I'm not, I can't show you the prices while I'm announcing the winners because this is poor planning on my part. Uh, the price bin is in the in my uh, son's bedroom. That's not his the spare bedroom anymore. It's my son's bedroom. And I don't want to wake him up because I'm recording and it would be nice if he doesn't. I don't wake him up until after I'm done recording. But I'm going to take pictures and put them in when I edit. The first uh, price was two skeins of Arctic Crafts, 100% uh, Merino fingering. And there's not a lot of yarn left over and I completely... Didn't, I didn't think of this when I started the clearance sale. There's still yarn left in the shop, but not two skeins of the same color. I think, not in merino fingering. Um, so I'm sending you two skeins of snowbuds. And the winner is Breve66. The bag from Tangled Stitch with a matching notion pouch goes to Strixi and there is a skein of yarn from Mother About Wool that's for Imacol L-M-E-C-O-L-L that's just the Ravelry names I'm t telling you now and I had <coughs> sorry two pattern prices one went to um, 
uh, lacewing on Heather, that was for Ravelry, and on the pattern price on Instagram went to uh, Ine. And I was looking at the viewfinder, I'm so sorry. I have to get used to this, probably. Uh, there is also, um, I'm not starting over again just because my eyes went to the viewfinder. As I said, I have to get used to looking at the lens. Um, there's a new mouth started uh, June 1st, and that's the Arctic Summer of Socks. And the rules are the same as uh, last year and the year before that. Any pair of adult size socks. Uh, larger children's socks are okay, but toddlers and baby socks, sorry. Um, I don't mind about what craft, if you want to sew yourself a pair of socks, go ahead. Um, so that's running until August 31st. I haven't got uh, I haven't got a lot of prices yet for that, but that's a long uh, way away. But I have I think I have a few skeins of sock yarn that people have bought from me and told me to put in the price bin. So I think I have a sock yarn and I think I might have a sock size bag as well. So I think I'm okay with prices. And for those of you who think I'm thinking of donating a price, uh, I do show off all my donations when I get them. Sometimes I don't show the prices before I send them out because I want people to be a bit surprised. So I'm sort of vague about it. But I wanted to show them off this time, but of course I forgot to take them out of my son's bedroom last night. So I'll have to edit in pictures so everybody gets to see them. And yes, I still drink coffee. Uh, my son doesn't drink coffee, so uh, I get my morning coffee to myself. Um, today is hubby's birthday. Uh, and we are going to a sushi place in the neighboring town to celebrate. We were planning on going to the new hotel in town because they have a fancy restaurant. And we wanted to try that restaurant out. But this weekend they are having a seafood special, so they're only having seafood and fish on the menu, except for one steak and one burger dish. And there wasn't a lot of selection because Hobby doesn't eat seafood, so we decided, okay, we'll go to the sushi place, because both me and my son love sushi, and Hobby thinks their teriyaki is really good, so we're going there instead. And as usual, his Fridays are short. He comes home early on Fridays, so I better get so I I better get this recording done, so I don't keep my son from his Zelda game, and that I'm done recording before hubby gets home. I'm not sure I'll be done editing though. Uh, I don't, as I said, I don't have a lot of knitting to show you. Uh, well, one of the reasons I'm checking the viewfinder all the time, by the way, is last time I recorded a podcast with this camera, it stopped on me because it overheated. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time because it's now on a tripod, it's not uh, put on top of something else. So hopefully there's a more air circulating around the camera this time. We'll find out. Worst case scenario, I have to take a break and keep recording later. Uh, so I've been, I've talked about what I'm wearing. Uh, I don't think, and because I don't have any show notes, I'm not sure if there was anything else I was going to tell you. I've announced the winners and I've talked about the new mail. So I'll show you uh, my knitting. I'm going to call this my prairie cardigan, because it's got a French name. And it's in a bag that Crafty Knitter 7, my bestie Sue in Canada, sent me. And I love it. It's from Comfy Cozy Knits. And I'm almost ready to start under the arms. And it's kind of difficult to see the pattern. Try to hold it up close. 
and it turned out that I enjoyed this looks very fiddly but obviously I enjoyed the pattern so much that I knit almost three inches too far down the back uh, so I had to uh, I ended up frogging until the uh, I was I'm knitting the second size but I frogged until I reached the third size in length and then I uh, because I had the width for size 2 but I decided I'm going to have loads of yarn left anyway so I have more than enough yarn so I decided to make it a little bit longer and I didn't want to frog anymore <laughs> so that's basically the reason and it turned out that and I adjusted it so that I'm going to start with the third color when I put it together. I figured that was a nice way to do it. So, uh, as I said, I'm this far on the front and then I'm finished with both the back and both fronts and I can put it, start knitting it in the round or not in the round, it's a cardigan. But you know what I mean. Uh, so the next color I'm putting in, it's this color, that's my third color. And the yarns I'm using, I can tell you the yarns I have been using, I'll just let you know what they are as I knit them in. The top one is from Garnbutiken Fortuna and it's called Gull, my favorite Norwegian dyer. The next color is uh, Tonight. I bake by Chromatic Yarns and it's from her Nitical Roll Yarn Club. It's inspired by Lord Esteros from Hellspells Campaign 3. So that's one project. Uh, the other project is a sock project and it's in this bag. I think this was the first I think this was the first project bag I bought on Etsy. It's from Ginger Snap That. And it's my contribution to the Knitters and Critters Knit Along, or I think it's a Make Along, that as well. That's running now. And it's, you were supposed to, um, to knit something that was um, TTRPG related or tabletop role playing games. And I'm using a yarn from Chromatic Yarns, again from a Knitical Roll Yarn Club. It's called Maybe I'll Write a Song About You, and it's inspired by Dorian Storm, the bard from Hellspells. And this is what it looks like knit up. And the pattern is the Wizardy Socks by uh, Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And I forgot to tell you, designer on the Prairie Cardigan, it's Hohi Locatelli. Uh, I've also been doing a little bit of spinning. I think I might have cracked the code. Maybe I spoke too soon, but I think I cracked the code. And what I did, I just um, adjusted the speed on the wheel to slow. And I'm only using dyed fiber because I realized that undyed fibers are much more slippery. That's probably not the correct term, but slippery. So, and I'm used to looking at the viewfinder again. I should just, when I, when I decide that I love the way the picture looks, I should just turn it away so I don't see it, probably. Um, so, and I tried flying yesterday. Yes, I'm not sure this can be used for anything. Um, and this is what I had left over as singles. But I think, as I said, I've cracked the code. So, because that what's on the bobbin now looks much better. Uh, I ordered two more bobbins, because I realized that if I was going to keep experimenting and not ply, I was going to run out of bobbins real fast, because I have to have one clear bobbin to ply on. And I can feel that this sweater is a bit too warm. So I'll just have to take a little break and put the air conditioning on. Hopefully that's not too loud. Because I couldn't keep on 
recording wearing this. Uh, if I didn't put the air conditioning on. Because it's not really warm outside. But the sun is shining, that makes it really hot inside. And we haven't had the best weather this spring. We actually had snow June 1st. Nice, I know. It snowed June 1st. That's, um, that's late even for us. Of course it didn't stay on the ground because it's, it was June 1st. But anyway, you don't want snow on June 1st. We're supposed to have a warmer weather, really nice weather this weekend. And that's really good because our garden needs a bit of TLC. I haven't been able to do the spring cleaning yet because of the weather. So I'm doing uh, some uh, garden work, yard work this weekend. And uh, both hubby and my son is going to help. So hopefully we'll get everything done. Uh, and we have an outside, uh, in Norway we call it a bod. It's like something of a, a shed that's attached to the house. It's for storage and it's not insulated like the rest of the house. So it's, you can't put in everything in there. You have to sort of think of what you're putting in there. And I'm going to empty out the entire thing and sort through it and probably half of it can be donated because there are boxes in there that I haven't even opened since I moved in here in 2011. So um, I think um, a lot of it can be donated so that um, we can fit a lot of my son's stuff in there uh, because uh, some of his stuff he's not going to unpack while he's staying with us, because he's not going to unpack it until he finds his own place. So, that was uh, that was Meglong's knitting, a little bit of knitting. I'm, I'm starting a project. I'm knitting a yet another ranunculus, this time in some line from Sonnes, that's a cotton linen blend. And I wanted to knit a summer ranunculus. This is a heavier weight yarn. I think it's, I think they, you can define it as a DK. So it's going to be um, a thicker ranunculus, but I wanted something that wasn't see-through and cotton that I can wear in summer. Uh, and I know I can knit a ranunculus in a weekend, so there's no rush in starting it. I wanted to do the prairie ca cardigan first, but I think I might cast on the ranunculus because I'm going away in September, and maybe I and I'm staying with my Norwegian bestie Trina, and she has a wool allergy, so I can't take any knitting there that's wool. So if I delayed postponed my ranunculus until September. I can have that as my project while I'm visiting her. So, probably I'll just do dishcloths and then leave all the dishcloths with her when I go home. We'll see. That was also a tangent. Um, I should just go into show and tell. I could we can do the giveaway first. Yeah, I've been waiting for this, right? Uh, so this is my hundredth. Checking the viewfinder again. This is hopeless. I'm just looking at, uh, see if I'm still recording, but there's a red light on the camera, so I don't have to check the viewfinder. Bear with me. I'm going to get used to this camera eventually. Uh, so uh, my hundredth episode, and there's going to be a giveaway. And the giveaway is this. It's a tote bag from House of Yarn with this goodie bag in. It's just loads of different yarns from the local yarn store. Some of it's Norwegian, some of it's Danish. Loads of different colors. And that's the price for my 100th episode giveaway. 
I'll add an Arctic Crafts stitch marker as well before I send it out. And this is going to be a YouTube giveaway. And the prompt is what's your plans for the summer? Are you going to have a staycation like us? Or are you going on going traveling somewhere? You can also just, just tell me what you're knitting this summer. What's your dream knitting? What's your summer project? You can choose between those. If you feel it's too personal to tell people what you're doing this summer. So uh, just write that in the comments down below. You have to be subscribed to the channel, of course. And I'll just do uh, a YouTube uh, prize draw before my next episode. So you have two weeks to participate in the giveaway. So that's that's out of the way. Good luck and I hope loads of you get into that. Um, the next thing I want to show you is something that arrived was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. <laughs> See, I'm, the days just go float into one here. But I think it was yesterday. Sue will know. But I think she's just as, she has the same brain fog I do, so I'm not sure she would know either. But she made me this custom tote bag. And this bag of holding. I really love this one. I think this is going to be my new shopping bag, to be honest with you. And there were loads of stationery and things in here. And... That's not too interesting for you. Uh, she always sends me s tons of stationery, notepads and pencils and everything. But she also sent me some yarn that she bought, Knit City, Montreal. And this one I knew about because uh, she told me to look at the vendors for Knit City, Montreal and pick out a vendor that I wanted yarn from. And I went to Alicat Yarns and I saw this colorway. And I particularly loved this colorway. And uh, Sue checked and she had one skein left. So Sue got me that and she picked it up at Knit City Montreal. And there's this really cute set of stitch markers. So that Alicat Yarns. And what's the colorway? There's no colorway name on this. So it could be a one of a kind, of course. Because it doesn't say anything about the colorway on the, on the band. But I really love this color. And this has to become... I think this is too pretty to be socks, to be honest with you. And it's the 85 Merino 15 nylon as well so it's really soft so either a one skein shawl or part of a fade we'll see this could actually have worked in my prairie cardigan i think but i have i know i have other yarns that work with this this color so and the surprise was this one and it's a self-striping from biscotti yarns and the colorway name is, it doesn't say, uh, it says Purple Rain, it's called, this is called Purple Rain. And it's got all my colors, purples and different color of pinks. So this is going to be a pair of socks and they're going to be for me. And the next pair of self-striping I'm going to cast on are going to be uh, looking at the viewfinder again. Oh. I shouldn't keep on commenting on that. I should just... I'm sorry. Uh, so, uh, the next pair of self-striping I'm casting on is going to be uh, a heel toe dosi dough, I think. Because I love that pattern and it's a fun way of knitting self-striping. 
I don't I have a couple of pairs of self striping socks on the needles but I can't change the pattern midway <laughs> I could finish some pairs of socks before I cast on a new pair of socks I think I have three or four different pairs of socks on the needles not including the stone knits pattern socks I'm also knitting on but I could I socks are a really good travel project but again I'm not going anywhere this summer this summer is going to be a staycation even though I have an income now we're just going to save up some money because we can't go abroad this summer because the Norwegian Corona is really weak so everything is twice the price outside of Norway we are going hopefully to England next spring or February so late winter where we live because I might actually get to go to Unravel it's one of the yarn festivals I really wanted to go to because it's not really really gigantic like Edinburgh or Rhinebeck but I it's a bit bigger than Spring into Wool that I've been to so Unravel and it's in Kent I think in England and hubby and I always love going to Brighton it's our favorite town in England that and York and if you go to Brighton it it's the weekend winter break starts as well so hubby has a week off the week after unravel so we're planning on going to Brighton that weekend and going on a day trip to unravel probably on Sunday and I really really hope we get to go and we have somebody to uh, watch the cats as well because my son moved back to Stockmarkness so that's not a problem so hopefully the corona doesn't get even weaker so I don't have to pay double price for the yarn if we go to unravel but hopefully I get actually get to go to a yarn festival next year another tangent um, and later tonight or tomorrow the last update in the history of market crafts by Vente is going into the shop I decided to hold on to the rest of the undyed some of it for my own personal use and some of it for tutorials because I wanted to do some yarn dyeing tutorials not exist not necessarily tutorials I'm not going I'm not no good at teaching people stuff but so that you can see how I dye different colorways and I'm going to dye up myself a sweater quantity on sparkle I know I want a sparkling sweater on, I think it's going to be vintage rose because I love that colorway and I wanted a sweater in vintage rose since the first time I dyed up that colorway and I think it's going to have to be sparkle so I might put up the camera and record myself doing that and I'm planning on because I'm probably going to have people around when I dye yarn from now on until I don't know when so I decided on just recording everything and get the noises in the background and everything and then just take out all the sound and do voiceover because it's easier for me to just hide away somewhere else while I do the voiceover than uh, kicking everybody out while I'm dying the air. Uh, hopefully I can figure out how to work the remote uh, there's a remote on this tripod and there is a blue there is Bluetooth on this camera so if I get figure out how to work that I might do that uh, so I can it's easier for me to stop and start the recording and everything um, I might use the mobile phone we'll figure that out as we go but the big um, plan with this camera spending all that money on this more advanced camera is so that I can use it for my vlogging and 
podcasts and everything because it's so much easier just putting this camera up on the tripod. I don't have to have all the setup with the microphone and my computer and everything. I just put the camera on the tripod and start talking. And as soon as I get out of the habit of checking the viewfinder, everything is going to be perfect. Uh, because when I record on the computer and use the webcam, the webcam is on top of the screen. So there's not possible to tell the difference if I'm watching, looking into the camera or if I'm looking on the screen. Here it's real easy because the viewfinder is on this side of the lens. So as soon as I turn my eyes and look at that, you can tell. And thank goodness I bought a multi-purpose tripod because this time I ran out of power, the batteries on the camera I mean. So instead of waiting for that to charge and keep going because I'm sort of on a time crunch here, so I'm finishing off the podcast on my mobile phone. Oh, I, I'm wondering if, the, if I can get a battery pack for that camera that's got a longer... Or I could just charge it, top charge it, before I record my next podcast. I could, for traveling, I could get a proper power bank, of course, that I can charge it from. We'll see. Anyways, I ran out of power. It shut down and I thought, okay, so now it's overheating again. But no, it said the battery is empty. This is so, <laughs> this is so much fun and so professional. But you know me by now. I'm not professional. And, and I have a cable attached to the mobile phone as I'm recording this. And that's why it's sort of unsteady. Because I, of course, was almost... Uh, my mobile phone almost was almost out of power as well. So now that I'm going to be more or less only a YouTuber and podcaster, I should try to become more professional. Maybe I should do some classes. Is there, are there any classes <laughs> for making, becoming more professional? I think it's, it's a, I'm up at episode 100. I should have get, gotten, gotten the hang of this by now. Anyways. I didn't have a lot of more stuff to talk about anyways. Um, I don't think I have forgotten anything. I mentioned the Arctic Summer of Socks. Any pair of socks, as long as it's adult size or larger children's sizes, we could say. From European size 35 upwards. Any craft. And you can enter as many pairs of socks as you want. Double dipping is okay. There are loads of sock knit longs in summer. You can double dip if you want to. It's an, I'm not, not exclusive. There's go, and the prices will mostly contain uh, sock yarn. Maybe some commercial sock yarn some hand dyed sock yarn uh, and it's running until August 31st and if I decide to include commercial sock yarn in the prices there will be four or five prices I guess because I have loads of commercial sock yarn in stash and I wanted to de-stash anyway uh, Kofi has a shop option you can put up things for sale on Kofi and I'll let you know when I do so but I'm going to put make put myself make myself a little shop on coffee not to sell my own hand dyed yarn but to de-stash yarn and bags and to sell hand knits i've tried to put up sweaters for sale on instagram no one was interested or no not every i think it's better to do it in a shop online and i'll just link to the coffee and there's a link to my coffee page on instagram so I think that's the best way of doing it. And I think if you, at least if you subscribe on Kofi, you get uh, not 
notified when I put something up on our coffee, I think. Anyways, there will be there's a link to my coffee page on Instagram and I'm going to tell you of course when I decide to make a shop on there. So I'm going to stop rambling now and stop recording so that my son can get in here if he wants to. And I'll see you in two weeks, probably not sooner. Uh, if I'm doing a summer vlog on here, I'm going to start that when the summer holiday starts in Norway or the school holidays start. And that's towards the end of this month. So maybe my next podcast will be the last regular podcast before the summer holidays. So now I'm going to stop and finish my coffee and edit this. So I'll see you later. Bye bye.